First of all, I'd like to thank Lee and Maria for taking time out to give me some feedback about my last video. Any sensible and helpful input is always very welcome, even when the result isn't quite as I might have hoped. The voice in this today's video says just one word, and I've used an external speaker and a separate audio recorder to try to improve the loudness, which might help you hear it, but if you still don't, no matter, because I'm sticking with the word that I hear, and that word is horror. H-O-R-R-O-R. Horror. It's creepily said by one of those disembodied voices I'm able to recall sometimes both within the flat and block. There's no person around at the time and the new tenants living in the flat opposite are a mother and daughter. This voice is male. I obviously have no idea why the word horror is said but it's perfect for this targeting program. To my mind it's horrific that strangers are able to track both myself and other targets of these operations. It would clearly indicate that we have a means to be tracked, whatever that is, and our stalkers the ability to track us. I do believe a mobile phone is an essential piece of kit for our hunters or stalkers. Then there is the character assassination, which appears to be a common theme for those of us secretly selected for our new existence. Mine is blatantly sexually oriented. Targets of this program have mentioned being on watch lists, and the bogus reason for being added to such lists include terrorism or being a threat to the state. As the police are involved in covering up this typing program and have purposely dismissed my evidence, among other Stasi-like actions, they are top of my list regarding the engineering of my lower-than-human status. Another horror is how neighbours are inducted into this program to fuck with your ability to feel at ease when at home. They are provided with the tools to seriously impact your sleep health and life. Such neighbours are of course the scummiest, evil, cretinous pun life and to repeat myself, therefore assets for the state willing to carry out their orders as long as they are amply rewarded and I'm certain they have been and are being. The surreal disembodied voices which I'm able to record sometimes this video featuring one example, uh, another unexplained and inexplicable horror. I haven't read or heard any other target mention this, so for an as yet unknown reason, I seem to be in a minority of one regarding this other worldly and disturbing element in my targeting, although it's all down to technology as far as I'm concerned. It would indicate I'm invisibly seen in the block and the flat, but this aspect in my targeting is mind-bendingly strange, and yet no investigative journalist is willing to do their job and investigate both this targeting program and some of the ways we are hunted and harassed. Have all journalists been bought off to stay silent, and if this is the case, what a shocking indictment of the state of today's journalism. I won't dwell on what hardware neighbours and others are loaned to locate and interfere with my life because I cannot offer any proof of it. But genuine targets of these torturous operations are hunted, are watched and invisibly harmed, often psychologically as well as physically, and that is why the word horror is better than most to explain our situation.